record it. Let's just see. Begin. Okay. Ready? Okay. Uh, I think that's it. Let's do it. Okay. Let's continue our our thingy. I am excited. The last half. Uh, okay. Yeah. I mean, someone's gotta go. Oh yeah. Haro Genki. Haro Genki. Aww. Yeah. No. Man. Man, I'm pushed. I got no motivation at all. And Manafani's period is late too. Oh no. <laughs> no need. Um. Father. Why do you know Manafani's cycle? Thing. Never mind that. Perhaps the lack of motivation is due to the lack of hibernation. <laughs> yeah. Lack of hibernation? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't been sleeping well lately, so I haven't really been able to hibernate. Mm -hmm. That's awful. What could be causing it? Ah. Is it because you have a lot on your mind? Is it, is it cause the graveyard shift pays a better hourly wage? Huh? Yeah. Really? Is it cause you don't want them to think that you're just goofing around? Huh? Huh? Is it cause you wanna stay friends? <laughs> what the heck is I don't know? Oh, it gets longer. Wait, make it longer. What? <laughs> <laughs> Is it because you want to watch it in real time? Uh. Uh. Ah. Hmm? Father? Hmm. He's gone into hibernation. We should let him be. Oh. Yeah, you're right. Night, night. Would you actually be asleep? Yeah, he probably would be. Probably would mm -hmm. be. Okay, this is okay. Everything asleep is standing up? Yeah, he would. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Resume. Ah, uh, yes, here. Ah, uh, yes, here we go, boys. Oh. The best part. Kill. To me, but uh, I just can't. My head, my head hurts so much. I just can't remember. Have you forgotten? Maybe that's for the best. From this point forward, let's start a new life for ourselves. Oh my God, the soap opera's still going. After all, our baby is excited to meet his daddy. You know? Oh God, Daddy! Wait, what? I'm gonna be a father? Oh no! It's gonna be. He, he, yes, of course it. Colossal death flag. I'll be surprised if he doesn't die after that. Oh my god! More importantly, let's continue the conversation where we left off. <laughs> we understand Mew plotted the murder, but we need to find out who killed her. Yeah. Gamers. And in order to figure that out, we need to understand Mew's actions. Gamers. So let's discuss her murder scheme step by step. Gamers. I know that's important, but hearing you lead the conversation really pisses me off. <laughs> let's see. You manipulated the virtual world to use it as part of her murder plan. Don't just ignore me and start anyway. <laughs> if she had succeeded, she would have gone past the wall between the chapel and mansion. And then wham! Murdered me on the roof with the hammer. She would make the murder seem like it happened in the real world, and then pin it on Kaito. As for Mew's alibi in the real world, she could say she was locked into the virtual world. And in the virtual world, she could say she was near the chapel the entire time. That's a pretty damn good plan, I have to say. She'd make an excuse about how she couldn't reach the mansion because of the fallen bridge. Hey. What? My hand flipped! 
<laughs> she dropped the bridge on purpose so she could separate the chapel from the mansion. You, that looked like a, a gamer moment from over here. Then Bitch. secretly passed through the wall she installed. Oh god, she's going to the back the room. Oh no! After, she oh, headed to where we were supposed to meet up, the mansion's rooftop. She survived. Yeah. Um, Kaito was probably logged out around that time too. That's when I saw Mew. Problem is, because of her murder plans, we don't even know where she was killed. She was killed on the roof, right? Kokichi told us the roof door was locked and that he couldn't get through. Maybe that when culprit kill her. That's probably what happened. The culprit killed her on the locked roof. Did the culprit lock the door to the roof? Perhaps. I don't think Mew did it. If Mew did lock it, she would have done it when she called Kokichi to the roof. Hmm. Even if someone came up, I don't believe she would change the target of her plan. She knew that Kokichi would come up later. Locking the door would be suspicious. Well, it's possible she didn't even think that far ahead. She was smart. But she was also really, really dumb. <laughs> no say such mean things! Did Alex just rip himself? <laughs> yeah. Alex, have more confidence in yourself. <laughs> Killing <laughs> game bad. <clears throat> not Mew. Mm, thank you, Gonta. Mew, not bad person. Gonta think we could have been friends if things different. That might have been difficult. Even without this killing game. Oh my God. <laughs> that wouldn't happen. Nah. -uh. No way, Jose. <laughs> huh? Oh, come on. No one friend with Mew. Anyway, oh. let's continue the discussion. Come on. So if mean. Mew was killed on the roof of the mansion, the culprit must have moved Mew's avatar to the chapel after killing her, right? So the next thing we should talk about is how they moved her avatar. Now we know the mansion and chapel were actually next to each other. But the problem is the wall between them. Only Mew was able to go through that wall. The culprit wouldn't have been able to. I legit thought. Then you're saying the culprit sent Mew's avatar through that wall? You thought what? She was gonna say wobbly table. Because <laughs> she said wall between. It's like, oh, wall where is she going with this? Wobbly table. In that split second. That was so good. Yeah. Wobbly table. That's the did only it. way, right? <laughs> hmm. But how did the culprit send Mew's avatar through the wall? Can't you like chuck it? I mean, it's not like they could have thrown her. Never mind. <laughs> Go to not throw her! <laughs> Go to, come on. We know. You couldn't because the Avatar's physical strength was equalized. Physical strength equalized? Oh, this poor man. Yeah? What is that? Problem. Go to no can protect everyone if that happens. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, keep up with us. We're already in the second half of the class trial. Okay, don't say that out loud. <laughs> We're already in the second half oh, of the class trial. How did they send Avatar to the other side of the wall? Maybe that thing has something to do with it. You know, the loud sound you heard. He knows everything. He's almost omniscient. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what was that sound? Because of that sound, you guys went to the side of the chapel. Right, Keyboy? <laughs> That's when you found the dead Mew there, right? <laughs> no. If so, then I think that sound and her avatar being by the chapel are related. Mm. No. Yes, there's no doubt in my mind that the noise is related to this case. Yes. We need to figure out 
Uh, we need to figure out what that sound could have been. It might be the clue we need to solve this case. So what was it? It sounded like something slamming hard into something else. So what were those two things? It could be... Hammer hitting the wall, cell phone hitting the wall, lattice hitting the wall, me hitting the wall. I'm gonna go with lattice? The lattice hitting the wall? Maybe the lattice... I was thinking... Never mind. Maybe the lattice work next to Miu's avatar struck the wall. Do you think a lattice would make such a wild noise? I mean, I heard a lot of chipping wood, so I thought it was okay. I don't think the impact would be loud enough to startle everyone if you're going outside. Oh no! Everyone's staring at me! I screwed up! They think I'm a fraud. Uh, Kill him! <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, As Mio from the grave. <laughs> uh, I guess hammer. To, hammer. Uh, 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 mm. uh, uh, mm. Mio, Ryu. That's it. Okay, because she's an ice age. Okay. I think yeah, the sound the came object. from Mio's avatar hitting the chapel wall. <laughs> okay. The hammer, cell phone, and lattice were there. But they were too small to make that noise. Yeah, that, yeah, that's true. Ruling those out, the only other explanation is that the sound was Mew colliding with a wall. Hmm. If that's the case, Mew's avatar must have hit the chapel wall really hard. Okay. Oh man, here. Impact you're... all the way from the inside of the chapel. That's insane. What the yeah, hell? Yeah, that's the real question. Man, going to dig. <laughs> Wow, Mew's head has Mew's some base. Oh no! Probably hit the chapel's wall with but pretty considerable <laughs> force. <laughs> I don't know what object can hit that wall now. Why did it hit the wall with such force? Can you guys figure it out? Hold on, Kokichi. Peace What's off. up with the way you're talking? Hmm. Why are you talking like you know everything? Let's not worry about that right now. Hmm. More importantly, we gotta solve the mystery. Fighting among friends is a waste of time. Friends? Us? Anyway, can we talk about that after we figure this problem out? Thank you, Suzuki. A way of transporting Mew's avatar that would cause it to crash into the chapel. Hmm. Oh, thanks, Suzuki. Getting Mew's avatar to crash into the chapel from the mansion's roof. There's only one way I can think of how to do that. Hey, Shuichi, as your partner, I'll give you a little hint. I don't want your help, Kokichi! You what? Oh, yes. Since okay. the mansion was on top of a hill, the roof was pretty high up, right? Yes, Kokichi, it was high. Past the brick handrail, the roof was at a pretty steep slope. Oh my god. And the slope faced the chapel wall. On top of that, there was snow on the roof. If the culprit needed force to move the body, I wonder how they did it. Oh my god. Thank you, Kokichi. Very loud hinting noises. <laughs> Kokichi is talking as if he's already got the whole thing figured out already. I wonder why. He's detective. But I can't let him discriminate against me. I need to solve the case. <laughs> <laughs> How to make Mew hit the chapel wall from the roof of the mansion, YouTube tutorial. I'm going <laughs> to find the answer. How to solve trial 4 of chapter 4. Yeah, okay, let's go. Okay. Uh... Okay. Now the next, the next, I'm going to say this. Okay. Ah! <laughs> oh, you got that. Nice. Yeah. Hmm.
no idea what the last thing I could do. <laughs> I got it! Four, four, five, bill. It's Root! Slid she off slid Root! She slid off the Root! The sloped roof as a slide from Muse Avatar! <laughs> I mean the roof! What's how she's smart? Slide? Nah, man, Nick? even with the slope and the snow, Mew's body wouldn't have slid. Wrong. It would slide. But the avatars Ace can detected. generate friction. We wouldn't have been able to walk otherwise. Hmm. So I doubt that it would have had that much momentum. No, no. It would slide. Don't speak French. Because that woman was an object. But it wouldn't <laughs> slide. Just like Maki Roll said. <laughs> it would slide. Just like Shumai said. Shumai. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Who the Shumai. hell is Shumai? <laughs> Kaido is now friends with two different food objects. Amazing. <laughs> oh, he's a pupil of Ramen Man! Uh, sorry, my hobby slipped in. Hello, <clears throat> so much. <laughs> I love the camera angles in this game. They got it so down pat with like how they moved the camera. I'm positive <laughs> that's how Mew's avatar was moved, but... Maybe the culprit used something else as well to help her body slide. Hmm. Bing, bing, bing. Non-stop debate. Ready? Even if her Die. Go. The roof, would it slide off that quickly? Well, duh, it would. If it made that much noise, it must have built like a lot of speed. Lots of snow piled up on roof, but not frozen solid, right? Mm. We'd still slide, though. Which, 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 in the real which, world, which. it might be difficult, mm. but in the virtual world, perhaps not. Mm. That's like not the well. issue. <laughs> Sliding down snow is easy to do. You just need a sled or skis to cut the friction. Mm -hmm. There was nothing like that around, though. You're wrong. But I'm gonna let it play through. If you wanted to move a body by sliding it, how would you do it? There was something left at the crime scene that would help. Even if her after- <laughs> Use the hammer's keys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm out. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's out. He was just actually flat. <laughs> he had enough friction. <laughs> if that was true, it would have been her back, not the front. <laughs> you need a sled or ski to cut the friction. Or maybe she wears There was tags. nothing like that. <laughs> Consent! That's wrong! You have my consent! You have my V-card. Ooh. No, wait! There was something that could have been used to help slide Mew's body. He's so excited. Yeah, he looks so excited, but his voice is so, uh, like, laid back. Not laid back, but reserved. Do you remember the lattice that was found by Mew's avatar? The culprit later on top of that and used it as a sled on the roof. Mm. I did notice the lattice in the storage room when I first looked. But during the investigation, I saw that it was gone. King Crimson delay. <laughs> the lattice that was found next to the chapel is the one that disappeared from the roof? Then that's it. The culprit used the lattice as a sled. Ding, ding, ding! That's correct! Mm. Thank you, Shumai. <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh... <laughs> After the culprit oh. killed Mew on the rooftop, Don't visualize he placed her corpse on a sled Darn it. and slid her down the roof steep <laughs> slope. Oh, my God. The slide <laughs> more speed. The <laughs> unknown the black roof. guy did it. Oh, God. It's Glided through the wall only objects could pass through and hit the chapel. Terminal velocity. Bang. <laughs> you see, it was it was it. <laughs> okay. No, it was me. Yeah, it was me. They didn't know about anything the else. The impacts made all of her belongings scatter, including the hammer and cell phone. Just like that hedgehog who loses what's all his rings whenever he hurt. crashes into stuff. Her Shut face up, or her forehead? I... I hate that 
that guy and his worldwide fame and his stupid <coughs> games, and I hate that hedgehog! Is one of you senile? Is he, like, becoming senile in this game? No, 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 becoming Dr. Eggman. <laughs> yeah, that's, that was a reference. Yeah, he's becoming Dr. Dr. Eggman. Eggman. Oh, okay. He's becoming Jim oh. Carrey. Oh, I see, I see, okay. I hate that hedgehog. It's yeah, that's, yeah, that's, oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, but, Daddy, yeah. I'm glad you're feeling really motivated again, but you shouldn't be so hateful. You're Hate. Gotta be an example to our new family. Oh my god, we're not finished. <laughs> Yeah, father. Or should I start calling you grandfather now? Bill. <laughs> now that we know how the body <laughs> slid down, we're just one step away from the culprit. Mm. Well, Shuichi, do you know who the culprit is? Well, Shumai. <sighs> the culprit. Yeah. In the end, we'll still need to guess the culprit, huh? But Gonta can't believe one of us killed Mew. However, since we know she was killed on the roof, we can narrow down the list of suspects. Meaning, the culprit must be someone who was investigating the mansion. Aside from Mew, the people at the chapel could not go through the wall or cross the river. So that means the suspects are Kaito, Samugi, Shuichi, and Gonta. That's real sneaky, leaving yourself off the list. <laughs> oh, you got me. Hmm. That's right. Five suspects. Me, Samugi, Gonta, Tokichi, and Kaito. Takichi. Please let it don't be Samugi. Please, game, don't throw us a curveball like that. We don't know enough to name the culprit yet. One of them is suspicious. When we were talking about uh, the rooftop, they clearly lied. What reason would they have to lie? I'll need to press them for information before making any judgments. I mean, dude's been lying all this time. Hmm. Crap, I didn't catch it. I'm going to... Who's been lying all this time? Yeah, it's Ryoma. <laughs> I didn't do it! <laughs> He's not actually dead. It's Ryoma! God damn it! <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, it's Kaede. Kaede. I kind of, I kind of forgot... Who... Wait... Hmm... Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna... Well, you're with Samugi. Yeah, yeah, I'm just... And then... Who else is, was then, in, like, a group? Kaito, so... My gut tells me Samugi. I think I missed something, but I'm gonna go for her. Samugi, did you lie about no, something on the roof? Um... I didn't really have any reason to lie about the roof. Oh, no. She was oh, with you the whole time, by just, the way. We just said- I just said that. She- but she ste stepped into the next- okay, okay. She was in the room with you when she heard the sound. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. sorry. I was- <laughs> Okay, uh, and then... Let's see... Okay, enough. So he was outside! Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Who is the liar? Okay, Gonta, mm. did you- Oh, okay. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Gonta, did you lie about something on the roof? What? Gonta doesn't really understand the... VR stuff. AW, man? Nah. I drive push. <laughs> this horse. <laughs> Start to sound like Scooby-Doo. Anyway. <laughs> but there's no- God damn it, <laughs> But there's no way Gunta would ever kill Mew. Believe that. Please. I was wrong! Everyone's there. It's you! 
school work makes you overthink things. So Kokichi, there's okay. something I need to know. Hmm. What do you need to know? Why did you lie just now? Which lie are you talking about, Shuichi? I lie a lot, so you'll need to jog my memory. Fine. I'll expose your lie right now. Hey, we had this conversation. Also, I never went to the roof, not even for the meeting. It all began when Miu showed up, who showed us the map. <laughs> That's probably what happened. The culprit killed her on the locked, locked roof. It was that testimony that bothered me. It's it's the dialogue he said. Okay. All of the dialogue. Yeah. They can just have to assign. Okay, and then and then I'll just make sure. It's like pinpoint the lie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm just, I'm just making sure. Can I? Okay. Oh my God. I see it. I see it. I'm blind. <laughs> When you were explaining that the door to the roof was locked, you said... Repeated dialogue. Also, I never went on the roof, not even for the meeting. But later, you said... Repeated dialogue. Since the mansion was on top of the hill, the roof was pretty high up, right? Oh, sorry, my controller disconnected. No, I'm angry. No, I kill. You. Oh! As the brick handrail, the roof was a pretty steep slope. And the slope faced the chapel wall on top of that. There was snow on the roof. That's a lot of specific information. Stuff you wouldn't know if you hadn't been there. Oh yeah! Now that you mention it, how did you know all that stuff? You could probably see the steep slope of the roof from outside the mansion. But you wouldn't know about the brick handrail unless you went up to the roof yourself. Bunga bunga. Huh? huh? W w what? What's this all about, Kokichi? Did you actually go to the rooftop? I, 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 I did, didn't. I already t told you that b before. Why you look so nervous? Is this a sincere reaction? B but there's no evidence that pr proves I went to the roof. Oh, wait, I remember now. That thing Himiko said. At the start of the class trial, I remember you saying the handrail was made of bricks. Ooh, you so clumsy, girl! <laughs> Gotta be more careful there, Himiko! This way the voice actor shines. Is it my fault? Himiko really say that? She totally said that! No, she didn't! 
Yes, she did. She did not! She did too! Baby. Then when? Tell me how long ago. In hours, minutes, and seconds. <laughs> what a worthless fight! Stop them, Grandpa! All this terrible fighting is bad for the baby! Yeah, Grandfather. Stop them before your grandkid is born. Nusha's <laughs> least favorite trial. I apologize, because uh. Himiko said it! No, actually, I, I really love this trial. But I, I think, I think... You really love this child? It's nice of you. Never mind. I fucking hate this child. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my god! YouTube, don't ban him for his profanity! <laughs> it's only in the first 10 seconds. We're fine. What's your bro? So damn stubborn! How much longer are you going to behave like this? I don't have time for this. Do them. But Kokichi is stubborn and gay. We won't fess up. He won't fess up. One, no of, that, what. one of that is true. <laughs> but if he's being this stubborn, it makes me think he has something to hide. Yeah, I'm gay. To get him to show his hand, I have to prove he was on the <laughs> roof through a mini game. Why do you say that? I might not. I might not like it, but I have to be aggressive. If we don't have, if we don't get through the whole. <laughs> If we don't get the whole truth now, everyone's lives are in danger. Bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, bing bong. I didn't go to the roof! I've had enough of your lies, man! <laughs> I'm not lying! The rooftop door was locked and I couldn't open it! What did Kokichi do? I turned back at once, of course. And stayed in the salon the whole time, you know? Liars burn in hell, you know? <laughs> if you're lying, I'll set your pants on fire! <laughs> That's fine, because I'm not lying. <laughs> then why do you look so nervous? Because... I know the nature. <laughs> but not really me, because I'm kind of stupid. Kokichi's lying for sure, but if he keeps throwing lies at me, I have to fight fire with fire on his hands. I didn't go to the roof! Nice, dude. I've had enough you of your lies, him. man! Yeah, I, I'm not yeah, lying! Okay, okay. The rooftop door was locked and I couldn't open it! So what did Kokichi do? I turned back at once, of course. And stayed in the salon the whole time, you know? Liars burn in hell, you know. That is dope. If you're lying, I'll set your pants on fire. Let's go get another one. Then why are we I didn't go to the roof. Let's try this. Um... I've had enough of your lies, man. Uh, okay, okay. I'm not lying. The rooftop door was locked, and I couldn't open it. So what did Kokichi do? I turned back at once, of course. And stayed in the salon the whole time, you know? Hi. I can't say not lying. Why am I a I'm not lying. Fire stop. And stayed in the salon the whole time. You know? could just hold the lighter. Nice. I'll reveal the truth. I'll reveal the truth. Perjury. Perjury. <laughs> Kokichi, Jury free. you're lying right now, aren't you? Huh? Lying about what? Just before the murder occurred, I went to the salon to check on you. But you weren't there. What? Really? <laughs> I waited there for a while. You never showed up. What's this all about, Kokichi? Didn't you go right back to the salon after finding the roof door locked? I see. 
You use underhanded tactics too, huh, Shuichi? Yes, you may. So who <laughs> are you guys gonna believe? Shuichi or me? Well, of course I'm gonna believe oh. Shuichi. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I believe Shuichi 100%. <laughs> The one who's not Kokichi. The one who's not Kokichi. <laughs> so based. 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 100 house points. Oh, no. Himiko points. To Shuichi. Uh, I bought a reference. Yeah, let's go. But to go to the salon, Shuichi would need to pass by me in the dining room. Simaki, please. Please, Simaki, please. Please, just cover for me, please. Um. I wonder why I didn't notice Shuichi there. Bill. Oh well. I'll believe Shuichi anyway. <laughs> He's usually right about stuff. Sorry, but <laughs> I'm going to believe stupid. Shuichi too. Shuichi <laughs> 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 got literally airheaded cosplayer. She's, she's, well, she's somehow both got a nerd saved. and an airhead at the same time. You were saved by the bullet, literally. That was dumb. That was the most dreadful moment I've ever experienced in Dungeon Rumble. It was. I see. I wanted at least Gonta to believe me. <laughs> it was like chapter five. Comes around, the... goes around. Yeah. That's what Dungeon happens Rumble to liars one. like you. Yeah. Why do you guys hate lies that much? Hmm. There's only one truth, but endless possibilities for lies. You know. And some of them are only white lies, or lies to be kind to people. If you deny all of that just because it's a lie, then that That's means you guys are just terrible at being lied to. Seriously, the worst. Just spit it out already. You went to the roof, didn't you? Isn't that where he met up with Mew? No, he didn't just meet her there. He probably killed. Okay, fine. I'll tell you if you want to know that badly. Consider this my revenge. Revenge? You got some balls lying to me. I'm gonna take away your fun for pissing me off, Shuichi. <laughs> I won't let you do any detective work or deduction or mystery solving or anything. Oh? Uh. So, I'll confess everything. You guys better listen carefully. Confess? A confession? So you are the culprit after all. I came up with a plan after Mew asked me to meet up with her. Hmm. Yes, he is confessing. Uh huh. She asked me pretty eagerly, too. So I decided to pry some info out of her. Okay. She gave me the rundown of the virtual world before she explained it to you guys. As I listened, I realized she was planning a murder. Hmm. On me, no less. Mm -hmm. When I investigated the virtual world, I found out that a person can die from shock. Without a doubt, she planned to use that for my murder. So that's when I decided to prepare my own crime with her plan. I pretended to cooperate with her and lured everyone into the virtual world. That's also why I worked together with Monokuma. You work together with Monokuma? <sighs> I guess the jig is up. Yeah, everything he said is true. Kokichi came to me with an idea to make the killing game more interesting. It was such a good idea, I decided to place a motive in the killing game simulator. You added a motive? Then the secret of the outside world is the motive, right? No fair! Monokuma can't take sides! I didn't help him with anything, and I had nothing to do with the murder itself! He merely suggested a way to spice up the killing game, and I accepted! Kokichi and I had a quid pro quo relationship. Technically, that doesn't violate the rules. Mm. Bullshit! No matter how you look at it, you guys are working together. Shh, calm down. I'll explain my relationship with Monokuma, so let me finish my confession. 
we love it. I'm fine with that, but <laughs> you're confessing without much of a fight. Kitty, hello. Danganronpa. Mm -hmm. uh, we're playing Danganronpa. If you don't want to be spoiled for Danganronpa V3, then, you know. Once uh, we're also recording this. Yeah, we're also recording this, so yeah. Oh, you have fun. Okay, okay, I'll let you know we're done. Me? <laughs> I told you. I'm gonna get in the way by taking away the mystery solving fun. No. If I can't win this game, then I'll make it boring for everyone. That's my revenge. Uh -oh. Well then, the culprit is Gonta. Huh? What? Huh? W what did you? Wait! When did Gonta kill Mew? That's a lie! He didn't kill her! Tokiji's just lying! Now you're trying to pin things on Gonta? Do you really expect us to believe such an obvious lie? Yeah, there's no way Gonta could commit a murder this complicated. He's not smart. It's my turn now! <laughs> Himiko gets absolutely destroyed. <laughs> She's dead now. Hmm? The truth is, Gonta and I work together. We formed a duo to end this killing game. As the Killing Game Busters! What busters? <laughs> we must win this killing game in order to end this killing game. Are you kidding? What you mean, we? By the way, I came up with a murder plan, and Gonta carried it out. Gonta what? Why are you more surprised by that than the first thing he said? <laughs> Cause Gonta have no idea what he's talking about. Come on, quit lying and tell us the truth. Uh... Gonta is telling the truth. He's not someone who lies all the time like you. And no matter how naive Gonta may be, I doubt he would ever team up with Kokichi. Yeah, not after insect meet and greet incident. <laughs> well. <laughs> it's obvious what he's trying to do. Gonta doesn't understand the virtual world, so Kokichi's trying to trick him. He's trying to sacrifice Gonta to escape from his crime. You're right. I'm sorry. I did something horrible to Gonta. Oh my god. I didn't want Shuichi to hog all the glory, so I told everyone the truth! Oh. Cut that out! I told you it's not gonna work! Don't you think I could have pulled the strings and made Gonta carry out my commands? It doesn't matter if it's possible or not, because I say it's just impossible! It does matter. There's no need to bring emotions into class trials. All we need is logical thinking. Right, Shuichi? I am going to wring your neck on my hands. What? Um, Gonta not understand what's going on. But still, Gonta not kill Mew. Gonta really not know anything. And also, Gonta not tell lies. And Gonta not make trouble for others. Cause that not how gentlemen act. That why Gonta not culprit. Yeah, Gonta's not lying. I can tell just by looking at him. I already used my magic to check. Gonta's definitely not lying. Then let me ask you guys. If it's not Gonta, then who's the culprit? You, of course! Come on! There's already proof that I couldn't have killed Mew! There's already proof? Oh, did you forget already? Then let me make it clear again. Why I can't be the culprit!
I like this a lot. Spinning. I am not the culprit. Didn't I prove that to you guys already? The clue is how Mew is killed. Mew got strangled to death, right? Toilet paper was the murder weapon. Mew would have totally Unconventional. if she <laughs> was being strangled, right? Then it would have been impossible for someone as weak as me! You talking about the strength of your virtual avatar? That wouldn't matter if you strangled her from behind. In which case, even if she did resist, the most she could have done is merely touch the culprit. Exactly. She couldn't struggle much. So you could have kept strangling her, no problem. See, I told you I'm not the culprit. How'd you arrive at that conclusion? Well, it's already been that proven that Kokichi is innocent. We should have evidence of that. Before we can say one, one way or the other, we have to clear something up. I am not the culprit. Didn't I prove that to you guys already? The clue is how Mew was killed. Mew got strangled to death, right? Toilet paper was the murder weapon. Mew would have totally resisted if she was being strangled, right? Then it would have been impossible for someone as weak as me. You're talking about the strength of your virtual avatar. That wouldn't matter if you strangled her from behind. In which case, even if she did resist, the most she could have done was really the culprit. Exactly. She couldn't struggle much. So you could have kept strong. I could. No, my V. My V. My V. My V. My V. My V. Oh my god. <laughs> we got Kaido's V card twice, bruh. I got. What Tashi was got V card. Maybe it wasn't possible for Kokiji to strangle Mew. Why wasn't it possible? Mew modified my avatar, so if she attacked me, I wouldn't be able to resist. If Mew touched me, then I'd be unable to move. Huh? So I would have had to kill her instantly, such as stabbing or hitting. Oh no, Alex. <laughs> I couldn't have murdered her by strangulation, because it'd be game over if she touched me. Well, if you were using the toilet paper, you wouldn't need to touch her directly. But if you can't be touched while you're wrapping the toilet paper around her neck, then it would be impossible. Which means, as long as she died from strangulation, it couldn't have been me. Wait, what if it was something besides strangulation then? Like... There's no doubt Mew was strangled. We already discussed this. <laughs> Kaido is really desperate to make me the culprit. No matter how much you whine about it, you can't change the truth. The culprit who killed Mew is Gonta Gokuhara. This is the truth you all adore so much. No! Gonta not kill Mew! It's true! You gotta believe Gonta! Gonta would never hurt anyone! I believe you. You've been risking yourself to protect everyone. There's no way Gonto would kill. He won't even kill bugs. I believe Gonta too. I'm not gonna listen to Kokichi's lies. Uh, of course. Who'd believe a liar like him? He's lying about Gonta being the culprit, so there's no point talking about it. No, that's not how this is done. That's not how this works. I don't know about that. If we want the truth, we might have to ask uncomfortable questions. Right, Shuichi? You think so too, don't you? Huh? I know how important it is to believe, but as the ultimate detective, I know we can't solve this case with belief alone. Huh? It's just that something doesn't add up. I have this feeling something's off. We can't keep going back and forth like this. We need to discuss this. What, you wanna suspect Gonta? Too bad, Kaito. Looks like Shuichi agrees with me. No, I'm not trying to... Oh, the irony! 
It's all thanks to Kaito that Shuichi got his act together as a detective. And now, Shuichi's intuition as a detective has made him more suspicious of others. Well, can't be helped. That's just what a detective does. That's not it, Kokichi. I'm just trying to make sure that everyone survi- Shuichi, going to really not do it. Going to not culprit. So we gotta do it, Gonta, to make sure beyond a single doubt that you're not it. Please, leave Gonta. We might as well discuss it. What? As a precautionary measure, that's all. Hmm, I feel, I, I feel like I hear a, a certain soundtrack coming up. I think we need to seriously discuss whether Gonta was capable of committing this crime. Only then can we arrive at a logical decision. You guys, why don't you get it? That's just what Kokichi wants. He's just trying to split us up. Shuichi, open your eyes. B but Trooper one, Trooper Yo, trigger. Oh boy. Sorry to ruin this tense moment, but you guys seem Yo, pretty okay. evenly split right now. Here we go. There we go. There we go. The banger OST. The is proud to present its, its very own more phenomenal trial grounds. It's time for the scrum zone. So we're gonna do that again? Shuichi, why? Scrumble bumble. Why don't zone. you understand? Bumble bumble grumble roll. You, you're my sidekick, aren't you? Kaito, please. Kaito. Of course, I want to believe Gonta. I don't want to think that he killed someone. But as ultimate detective, I can't turn away from the truth. I need to find the truth. Oh boy. Alright, time to the screen zone. Slaps going. thing in Tulpa time. So good. Slaps. So good. Imagine... Imagine this using PNG. Nice. <laughs> Time for debation. Hmm. <laughs> I am the master of debation. Let's do this. Oh. Shuichi, are you saying that Gonta is the culprit? Gonta is such a sweetheart. He wouldn't hurt a fly. Could Gonta have even made it to the rooftop without being noticed? There should have been witnesses at the entrance hall. But Kokichi confessed he was working with Monokuma. It's all a lie. Kokichi is the one who killed Mew. Gonta not kill Mew! Honest! Blind trust is just going to get us further from the truth. We have... Five dead people on our side. Nice. I want to solve this. I have to. Because I want to survive. With everyone. Shuichi, are you saying that go- is the culprit? I got this! I can't say for sure he's the culprit. I'm saying we can't rule it out. Gonta is such a sweetheart. He wouldn't hurt a f- no. Kokichi! Don't you realize these so-called sweethearts can commit crimes too? Could Gonta have even made it to the rooftop without being noticed? Kibo! The entrance hall is all that separates the rooftop from the mansion exterior. There should have been witnesses at the entrance hall! I got this! No, none of us were in charge of the entrance hall. But Kokichi confessed he was working with Monokuma! Kokichi! I did cooperate with Monokuma, but only on a temporary basis. It's all a lie! Kokichi is the one who killed Mew! I got this! The truth is, Gonta could have murdered Mew. Gonta oh, not kill Mew! Honest! I got this! The truth is, Gonta could have murdered Mew. It's all a lie! Kokichi is the one who killed Mew! Mew just sets your pants on fire. <laughs> <laughs> we are consistent in our position, it looks weak. We have to work together. Okay. My okay. magic flamethrower. No! Even if we don't want to, we have to defend that point. Shuichi, are you saying that? that lighter. I got this! I can't for sure he's the culprit. I'm saying we can't. Gonta is such a sweetheart. 
Kokichi! Don't you realize these so-called sweethearts can commit crimes too? Could Gonta have even made me? Uh, Kibo! The ancient soul is all that separates the rooftop from the mansion exterior. There should have been witnesses! Shut the entrance! I got this! No! None of us were in charge of the entrance hall. But Kokichi confessed he was working with Monokuma! Kokichi! I did cooperate with Monokuma, but only on a temporary basis. It's all a lie! Kokichi is the one who killed Mew! Kibo! That isn't possible, because Kokichi's avatar had special settings. Gonta not kill Mew! Honest! I got this! The truth is, Gonta could have murdered Mew. Go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh no 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 That's ridiculous! You're going to believe Kokichi over Gonta? That's not it at all. I just want the truth. If we're going to survive, I have to find the truth. What? Gonta telling truth? Gonta really not culprit? I still don't think Gonta's lying. But didn't I tell you guys already? If you're planning to expose a liar, then you have to corner them psychologically. Only then will they reveal their true self as a liar, hiding beneath a layer of deceit. That's why it hurts my heart to persecute Gonta like this! Hmm. Gonta, if you understand, then do it right. Make logical arguments for the truth. L logical arguments? It means use your head to make arguments! Use head? What I'm trying to say is, if you aren't the culprit, then you gotta prove that you aren't! Huh. What? Going to really not know? Uh, I'm sick of hearing you say you don't know! God, why are you so dumb?! <laughs> his, um... His, uh... Yakuza air side is coming out. Gonta just want to help everyone, like true gentlemen. You're a true gentleman? More like a true nincompoop. Hey! Now that's just bullying. Bullying? Yeah, so what? That's what you do in this game, right? You guys blame and gang up on me, but now you're gonna pretend to be good people? No, I, I never ganged up. Gonta, argue back already! Just make an excuse or whatever! Stop it! That's enough! Hmm? Stop what? You mean stop the game? Hey, do you even know what you're saying? Yeah, I know. What about it? I don't want to survive if it means I have to stoop to your level. Wow. Oh, that's a low blow right there. Then just die in a hole for all I care! We want to live, so stop getting in our way! Wait. If you don't shut your mouth, then I'll shut it for you. Permanently. Maki, please, calm down. Sorry. It Gonta's fault everyone's so upset. But Gonta telling truth! Gonta really not culprit! Cause... Go to not know anything, really. Cut it out already. That's all you've been saying this whole time. You're the one that needs to cut it out. Wait, what did Kokichi say? All you've been saying this whole time that's true about Gonta. This whole time, Gonta's been saying he doesn't know anything. What the? 
not understand either. Me will like this when Quinta wake up. Quinta was sleeping too. Had strange dream. Quinta not to understand anything. What the not no murder already happened when Gunta wake up But But why did this happen? What why me you killed Gunta no understand Gunta no understand anything Was Gunta have no idea of what he's talking about? When exactly did he start using that defense? Gunta started saying, I don't know when. I, after logging out of the virtual world. That's it! That's it. It was after he logged out. That means. Did Gonta get into an accident in the virtual world? Accident? The accident that hurt Gonta. That was... Okay. Try the first one that I that I'm thinking. Oops, I missed it. Ah. This is it! This one. Mazinga. When we logged into the virtual world, an avatar user error occurred. Jeremy. Some sort of avatar user error occurred when you all logged in for the first time. An error? The contents of the error are unknown, so I can't provide any details. Sorry, just getting a sip. You take that sip. Thank you. But something strange definitely happened to someone's avatar when you all logged, at, uh, logged in. An avatar user error? Ever since going to logged out, he's been saying, I don't know, I don't understand. That's because Gonta doesn't understand the virtual world, right? That's what I thought at first, but I think it's because of the error. W what you mean? <laughs> That error is what's affecting Gonta, and it's making him forgetful and loopy. Then what was the error? What could it have been? Hey man, uh, let's see. Bang bang bam it. Yeah, so it was. I know what I'm going for, but I'm not sure how I would word it. So let's see. Oh, those have it.
I see. Yeah. Emmy Slaw. I believe it's possible that Gonta doesn't remember what happened in the virtual world. Huh? He doesn't remember? You started saying, I don't know anything, after leaving the virtual world. I think that's the result of some kind of memory error. That's why he doesn't remember anything that happened in the virtual world. Not even killing Mew. What?! That's ridiculous! Quit screwing around! Yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous! What do you mean he doesn't remember? He's just confused! Gonta told us he was bad with computers, remember? Memory or no memory? Gonta! Never hurt anyone! Gotcha, no way, Gonta's the, the culprit! Oh boy. Indeed. Gonta never hurt anyone! Remember because Doesn't remember Gonta a thing keep everyone safe! You did it, but you don't you remember doing kill it, a right? friend. If there was Isn't a glitch, so it's just gentlemen, assume? gentlemen, protect friends! Your lies aren't protecting anyone. But because we're but all Gonta okay, Gota not him. lying! That means there That's was no way Gota way swear! Happened. Please believe Gota! I know it sounds crazy. It's no wonder it's hard to believe. But this is the truth. Gota never you hurt anyone! Because we're all okay, Uta not lying! That means there was I heard it! I heard it. The cause of the error that affected Gonta's avatar is the two cords on the helmet used to log into the virtual world. Put the red consciousness core in the right and put the blue memory core in the left. Out of curiosity, what happens if you switch the cords? I don't know. I've never done that before. It probably gets a glitchy sim. I think they're going to mess up something with the cords. Causing the air. It's like when you mix up the red, white, and yellow cords on your plug and play console. Mm -hmm. If he mixed the consciousness and memory cords, AV cords? An error with memory. Yeah. Like an error that won't let you bring your avatar's memories to the real world? What? Oh, whoa, that's right. Gonta, do you think it's possible that you improperly connected the cords? Uh, how Gonta supposed to remember that? He, he couldn't have messed it up. I said it over and over. Right is the hand you hold your chopsticks in. No. Oh, but Gonta holds chopsticks with this hand. No. Left. <laughs> no. No. Wow, he and I are lefties. <laughs> hey, fuck you guys. Dang, dude. What do you mean? I'm left-handed, too. Dang, dude, that's rough. I feel like... I'm, I feel like... I feel like lefties are getting called out here. Yeah, I'm left-handed, don't worry. <laughs> oh, why'd you say that? <laughs> Man, Alex, I mean... <clears throat> okay. Can you go? Well, we don't know what this entails, so we'll just... Okay. <laughs> What? Man, uh -oh. she killed our, she killed Mio. Who would have thought? Uh... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's decided. But Kuki, how does memory loss have anything to do with murdering me? You. What? Decided. He's wrong, isn't he, Gonta? You remember the virtual world, don't you? Gonta, not remember. 
going to not even go to this virtual world place. What? Uh -oh. Going to fall asleep when he put helmet on. When going to wake up, Mew dead. Going to not know what happened. Oh my god. So, going to worry. Going to not understand what everyone talking about. No, it can't be. But going to try his best to understand. Going to imagine real hard. Gonta. That's enough, Gonta. We already know. N know what? We know that you totally forgot about teaming up with me and killing Mew. Wait a minute! That lie! Going to not kill Mew! Because why would Going to do that? Yeah, it's oh, a that's lie! so messed up! That is fucked up, Kokichi. And besides, Gonta's got no motive to kill Mew! I already gave you my testimony on how I came up with the murder plan. And I'm saying I don't believe you! Kokichi, you can't do it if yourself, what you're saying is true, why did you plan it this it. way? You wanted to plan the murder yourself, but have someone else carry it out? Is the person who planned it also included as a blackened with the perpetrator? Nope! Only the person who actually commits the murder becomes the blackened! Yeah. Literally the first question Kokichi asked during the trial. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then there's no incentive to just plan the murder. But Gonta is such a gentle soul. Why would he agree to this? Hold on! That hasn't been decided yet! You describe it in Who a fun way. Who cares about the motive? Let's vote for the culprit already! I care about the motive! Well, I don't care. Finding the culprit is more important in this class trial. Talking about the motive is meaningless. It's not necessary for this specific case. No matter what you say, I'll never believe your lies. We all agree that Gonta is the culprit, right? It would be impossible for anyone but him. Impossible? Why? It's pretty obvious if you use the process of elimination. Which means, Shuichi, you'll be my partner, right? Me? Because if you don't face the truth, then we'll all die, right? And you don't want that, do you? Okay, let's begin! Quit screwing around! I'm done putting up with your selfish bullshit! Kaito, we should listen to his explanation. Our lives depend on it. <sighs> so, we can now take Keyboy, Himiko, and Maki off the suspect list. Shuichi, would you care to explain? I doubt they'll believe it if it came from me. The reason Kibo, Himiko, and Maki can be eliminated as suspects is because they couldn't have access to the crime scene. They couldn't get to the crime scene, could they? The bridge from the chapel to the mansion was gone, and only Mew could pass through the wall. The three at the chapel had no way to get to the mansion, so they couldn't have done it. Oh, that's cool. Kaito is the next one off our suspect list. And you know why, right? The reason why Kaito isn't a suspect is because he was logged out. Kaito had logged out ahead of us. Mew logged Kaito out from the start. But she did that to make us think the murder happened in the real world, right? Since we figured out the actual killing happened in the virtual world, it would have been impossible for Kaito, who had already logged out. Mew's time of death was around 6.30 in the morning. That's after Kaito logged out. <sighs> Kokichi's completely running the show now. My synergy with Shuichi is super on point now, so let's move on to the remaining suspects. Gonta, Samugi, Shuichi, and me. Samugi and Shuichi can be crossed off. But what's the reason for that? Didn't we 
got solid alibis. Uh, some of these apply. Um, we we did I we saw me you. No. No. Okay. Two. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We have alibis. Okay. Because so, you both were in yeah. the you both were in like the kitchen. Yeah. Okay. So at the time alibis. of the bang. Yeah. We saw me at the mansion. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, are you able to, or do you want me to? Oh. No, no. Sumugi was the only one who saw that. If you had seen that, then it would have been possible for you to be the culprit. You're right, I am the culprit. I'm just kidding. You're a fraud. We don't ha uh, we have solid alibis. Sumugi and I are witnesses to each other's alibis. Both of you heard Mew hitting the chapel wall, right? The culprit was definitely on the roof during that time, since they slid Mew down. Because of that, Shuichi and Samugi can't be the culprit. That leaves only Gonta and me as the remaining suspects. Then you're the culprit! Sorry for getting your hopes up, but didn't I already explain that's impossible? He couldn't have killed me, you. If Mew touched him, he'd freeze in place. Kokichi wasn't capable of strangling her. So then, it's down to one person. And who was that again? <laughs> well, who is it? Don't answer, Shuichi! You don't need to answer that! This is all Kokichi's trap! There's only one suspect left. Only one person could have done this. It's... it's... Gonta. Sh Shuichi? Yep! Gonta is the only person who could have committed the murder! You get it now, right? That's the truth we were all reaching for. The thing you guys wanted so badly! A truth without any lies! You Iruma's killer! Is Gonta Goku Hara? Uh, really? Did Gonta really do it? Jeez, is that really your reaction? It would have been fun if you went all crazy. But you forgot everything, so oh well. A culprit who can't remember their murder is pretty interesting. So, better than nothing. If Gonta remembered, his cover would have been blown so fast, especially since he's an idiot. Hold on. I, I still haven't accepted this. This has got to be Kokichi's trap. I still believe in Gonta. He's not the kind of person who'd kill. Kaito. I already said this a million times, Kaito. You shouldn't use emotions You to want proof? I've got your proof! <laughs> After Sumugi and Shuichi heard Kibo's voice in the mansion, they ran outside. And who did they see out there? Oh, Suichi, Sumugi. Gunta, did you see Kubo oh, around uh, here uh, anywhere? Uh, oh wait, no. Oh, Gunta, right. did you see Kubo and uh, Kubo around here anywhere? No, oh, Gunta, not see him. The Gunta. Huh? Kokichi said it himself. When Mew's avatar crashed into the chapel wall, the culprit must have been on the roof. 
see. If Gonta's the culprit, it'd be weird if he wasn't on the roof. It's possible that he fled the mansion after he heard the impact. You'd have to go through the entrance hall to get outside the mansion from the roof. Is that where Shuichi and Sumugi ran to when they heard the crashing sound? Then maybe he jumped off the roof. That's not possible. That rooftop was pretty high up. Normally, Gonta could have done it, but his avatar wasn't strong enough. How about that? Now you get it, right? If Gonta was the culprit, there's no way he could have been outside the mansion. Now you can't say Gonta's the culprit. Congrats, Gonta. What? Really? It would have been so nice if that were the truth. If Kaito were right, and this horrible trial would just end. But... No, that's wrong. So do what? What? Just because Gonta was at the mansion doesn't mean that he isn't the culprit. All the culprit needed was a way to get from the roof to outside the mansion. Huh? <laughs> Looks like Shuichi got it. I'll leave the rest to him. Kaito, I know how you feel. I know because we all feel it. But we have to face the truth. No matter how cruel cool that truth may be, we need to face it. To survive. Whose side are you on, Shuichi? Kaito, please! Aren't you my sidekick? Was that just a lie? Kaito! Fine then! I'll tear that sorry reasoning of yours apart and wake you up! I can't doubt my detective work now. If I want us all to survive, I can't back down. Oh, that's cool. I'll never accept this! Don't you know Gonta at all? He's not the kind of guy who kills someone! Don't you know that about him by now? I'll never accept this! Don't you know Gonta at all? Instead of Gonta, who is the, the culprit, it's uh, Kaito arguing against you. Because he's more, he has more resolve for Why innocence. won't you believe Gonta? Yeah, I know. Why are you listening to Kokichi? Aren't you my sidekick? Wake up, what? Shuichi! Why won't you believe Gonta? Why are you listening to Kokichi? I love this song. It's really Aren't good. You my sidekick? Damn it! Who do you want to Time believe? Kaito. Oh god, this is how it works out. Naked man. Remember how Gonta is always trying to aliens. protect us. How could Gonta be the culprit? You still want to accuse him, huh? He's saying the truth this, the truth that, but... There's a reason Gonta's not the culprit. Who do you want to believe? Remember what Kokichi has done to us! Remember how Gonta's always tried to protect us! How could Gonta be the culprit? You still want to accuse him, huh? He's saying the truth this, the truth that, but... There's a reason Gonta's not the culprit! Who do you want to believe? Remember what Kokichi has done to us! Damn it! There's no way to leave the mansion from the rooftop! It ends here! It ends here. Damn it! Yet he's so weak. The toilet paper we found outside the mansion. That's what the culprit used to get from the roof to the ground. The toilet paper? The same toilet paper that was used as the murder weapon. That's why we didn't find it anywhere else. Not at the scene of the crime, nor on Mew's body. It was outside the mansion. Hold on. If they use the toilet paper as a rope to get down from the roof, then they need to tie it to something. But there was nothing to tie it to. I know, because 
I investigated the roof. You're stubborn, Kaito. You're still going on about this. Of course I am. I'm going to believe in Gota till the very end. No, there was something that the toilet paper could have been tied to. What? Yes, a place where the toilet paper was tied down. There! There. The binoculars on the rooftop. The toilet paper could have been tied there. <clears throat> However, I don't think the culprit actually tied it down there. They just hung it. And then used the doubled up toilet paper to climb down. But in that case, they would have had to tug on it in order to take it down. Yep, that's correct, because I came up with that idea. Really? But I thought I told Gonta to put the toilet paper back in the bathroom. Oh, I guess you ran into someone on the way and then threw it somewhere close by. Kaito's morale is shot, so this whole thing is done now. The matter does appear to be settled. Th that... it's... So... it true. Going to really kill Mew. But I'm the one who came up with the plan! Anyway... just to make your crime, Gonta. Even though you don't remember... You still did it. But why did Gonta do such terrible thing? Wait, before you start crying, you gotta admit your crime for Stop. I won't let you, Kokichi. If anyone is gonna get him to confess, it's me. Gonta, I'm going to look back at the whole case one more time, okay? When you're convinced, you just let me know, all right? Let's end this together. Oh no, Alex. Light. Listening to this is reminiscent of uh, Danganronpa 2's 
environmental thing. Hmm, a beautiful morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. Yeah. It's the whistle. It's a beautiful sound. afternoon. is the truth of the case. The case began last night. After being convinced by Mew, we all logged in to the virtual world. To log in, you have to plug the memory and consciousness cords into the device. So we all plug those cords into our helmets and enter the virtual world. But the culprit had accidentally plugged their cords into the wrong ports. Because of this, a connection error occurred between the culprit's brain and their avatar. As a result, the culprit would forget everything that happened in the virtual world. It's possible that this had an effect on their avatar's personality as well. Because I... I can't believe that someone so kind could commit murder. But we had no idea this error even happened. And so we all logged in one by one. Meanwhile, Mew was the last to log in. She had modified the killing game simulator so she could accomplish a specific goal. After Mew confirmed we were all logged in, she took out the bottle of poison and placed it on Kokichi's seat. This was done to make it look like Kokichi was killed by poison when we returned. Yes. The reason Mew modified the simulator and brought us to the virtual world was to kill Kokichi in the virtual world, but make it look like he had died in the real world. After we had all logged in, Mew explained the world to us. Use the salon phone to log out. Objects are unbreakable. Your avatars use all five senses. She also explained the map of the virtual world in the mansion's entrance hall. But her explanation was intentionally false. She wanted us to misunderstand the world. However, one of us was able to see through her scheme. The very person Mew was trying to kill, Kokichi. Kokichi was going to use Mew's plan against her 
and plotted her murder. But Kokichi wouldn't do it himself. He used a patsy to be the culprit in this case. Kokichi was tight-lipped about the motive, so I don't know why the culprit agreed. But it seems as though right after logging in, when Kokichi and the culprit went outside, they were already working together to execute the murder. Eventually, we met up with Kokichi and crossed the river to the chapel. Mew had us split up to try to find some secret of the outside world. Kaito, Kokichi, Gonta, Tsumugi, and I investigated the mansion, while Maki, Himiko, Kibo, and Mew investigated the chapel. Splitting us up was also part of Mew's plan. At the chapel, Mew told Maki that she was going to look around outside. She chased after our group while we were yeah. heading toward the mansion. You look so serious. Yeah. Beat hacks. <laughs> Once she made sure we were across, she dropped the bridge into the river. This was to trick us into thinking that the river separated the mansion and chapel. At the time, we thought nothing of it. It was just another one of Mew's pranks. That's why we continued with the original plan to find the secret of the outside world. We went to the mansion and split up to look for clues. Kokichi searched the salon. Kaito searched the roof. Santa? Tsumugi searched the dining room. I searched the kitchen. So cute. And finally, the culprit searched outside the mansion. Around that time, Mew was headed for the wall that was on the side of the chapel. She passed through the wall and headed for the mansion to kill Kokichi. You see, the wall was a special wall that Mew had added herself. This wall was programmed so that only objects could pass through. And Mew had changed her avatar settings from human to object. That was the hidden route she prepared for herself. She set up a wall that only she could pass through. Mew headed toward the mansion, but she was seen by Tsumugi on the way. When she entered the mansion, she pulled out her cell phone. She didn't yeah, tell yeah. us that there was another way to log out. Better, yeah. better, better. Then, she spoke a name into the phone, which forced that person to log out. Oh, it was Kaito who was on a roof at the time. Oh god, Kaito's dead. The same roof where Kokichi and Mew were going to meet. Oh god, he's dead By having Kaito shot. search the roof, and then forcing him to log out, she was making him look the most suspicious, but her plan didn't go smoothly. Kokichi was waiting on the roof with a culprit and the toilet paper used to kill Mew. While Mew was distracted by Kokichi, the culprit snuck up from behind. And used the toilet paper from the mansion's bathroom 
to strangle Mew. This was only possible because objects in the virtual world are unbreakable. Mew's avatar was strangled to death, and the shock killed Mew in the real world. After the murder, Kokichi left the cleanup to the culprit and left the roof. He probably returned to the salon as soon as he could to avoid drawing suspicion. The culprit then took the lattice from the storage room and placed Mew's body on top along with the hammer and the cell phone. The culprit heaved the lattice over the railing and forcefully slid it down the roof slope. With a body on top of it, the lattice became a makeshift sled and flew off the roof. It went through the wall that only objects can pass through before crashing into the chapel. That was the crashing sound that Kibo heard in the chapel and we heard in the mansion. Mew's wall hid the fact that the mansion and chapel were actually right next to each other. That's why Tsumugi and I were able to hear the crash from the mansion. As the final step, the culprit had to then get off the roof. Because we were at the mansion, they couldn't take the stairs or they'd be seen. So they used the toilet paper again to escape from the rooftop. They hung the toilet paper from the binoculars on the roof and used it like a rope to climb down. Once the culprit was safely on the ground, they pulled at the toilet paper to retrieve it. They would have returned it to the bathroom, but they ran into us as we were leaving the mansion. In a panic, the culprit tossed the toilet paper somewhere nearby. Without that one little mistake, we might never have solved this case because the culprit doesn't remember. This is the truth you've forgotten, Gonta Gokuhara, the ultimate entomologist. He likes bugs. Well, going to, this is a virtual bug. This is the truth we've reached. S sorry. Going to not really understand. Because going to not smart boy. But if everyone agree, then everyone probably right. Going to trust everyone. Going to. But why? Going to kill Mew. Forget everything. Going to even think he not do anything bad. And then going to try to blame someone else and make everyone suffer. Wh why? Why go to do such terrible thing? Going to. It's not your fault. It's Kokichi's fault. He must have tricked Gonta. Huh? I totally didn't trick him. Before we go into that, it's voting time. We should finish up the class trial first. But is this the right answer? We're not being fooled by Kokichi? For once, I wish that we were. up already? Hmm, what a buzzkill of an ending. It lacks the rush of previous voting times. Well, after
After so many killing games, I guess it was bound to happen eventually. It's just as well. This killing game is a bad influence on the baby. Oh my, Monotaro. You're even starting to look like a father. Yeah! I gotta get my act together for the baby. Ew. Now then, pull yourselves together and let's begin! The heart-racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless face-off! It's voting time! Hi, they did it! They do it! The voting has finished. Now then, let's see the result. <laughs> There's one for Kukichi. Yo. Chosen as the blackened. Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Hey, yeah, could have been Mantaro. Probably. Actually, did you get A's on all of them? That's damn. Game. Nice. Congratulations, you got A's. Thank you. Absolutely right. Oh, well, look at that! You voted correctly. Congratulations, you guys. Let me hear your joyful voices. <laughs> yeah, whatever I said. Give yourselves a hand. Let me hear your joyful voices. <laughs> <laughs> Let me hear your joyful voices! <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Damn it. What? Right. Wah! Jeez. I'll just nothing around. Should be happy for themselves. I know, I'm super happy. Hey, what would you- what, what, what can we name the kid? Good question. We should prepare six names. Yay! What? We're having six templates? I'm so happy I might go crazy. And another thing. Hey, Kikichi, you said this would have livened things up. What gives, huh? You said you were gonna liven up the killing game and the class trial. And I said I put the mode of the secret of the outside world into the killing game simulator. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was just a lie. Oh. Oh, so it was just a lie. What was that? Okay. He just laughed it off. Hey. Are you satisfied, Kukichi? I want you to tell us. What is the outside world? Is the motive... Uh, is it the motive you gave Gonta? Um... I plan to explain all of that, but it's more like... How do I say it? You guys are just gonna assume it's a lie if you hear it from my cute lips. Oh, I see. Oh yeah, then let's have Gonta explain. Huh? Oh, Gonta? Please stop! What you doesn't remember anything. How can you expect him to? All right. 
Then we should all go back into the killing game simulator. Huh? What? Because? Why don't we ask the Gonta in the virtual world? But... But... Going back into the virtual world is... <laughs> There's a much easier way than that pain in the ass method. I'm not gonna get Gonta's memories didn't transfer over. So, they're still in the virtual world as data. <sighs> I can combine Gonta's consciousness from his last login with that leftover memory data. He's just slamming on the keyboard. Ta-da! Alter Ego uh... Gonta is now complete! Can't just do that. That's illegal. <sighs> Alter Ego? Basically, it's a separate Gonta that only exists in virtual space. If we listen to what he says, we should be able to find out what happened in that world. Huh? What this? What happening? That's messed up. Huh? In this... Gunta? Huh? Is that Gunta? <laughs> What's that mean? Oh, oh. Alex. Oh. Alex. What sort of phenomenon is? What did you do? Hey, um. Relax, Himiko. It's not magic, and it's not a trick. Alter Ego Gonda is just a computer simulation. It's just imitating Gonda's dot patterns. It's actually different from the real Gonda. Um. Understand? Um, Who's this Alter Ego person? Now then. Me. It's even stupid like the real Gonda. You can hardly tell the difference. I like that voice for him because he's small. That's good. Plus he's got Gonta's memories in the virtual world, so, so he should remember what happened. Please. And then other Gunta tell Gunta? Why? Why? Why did Gunta kill you? Huh? Kill you? I guess other Gunta know about. Oh man. Unfortunately, our plan failed. We can tell them the truth now. Oh! Gonta! Gonta! No, oh, could save everyone. Huh? Save everyone? Gonta don't know! Hey, hey, Gonta! Answer, Gonta! Why did. Going to kill Mew. Wrong. Going to just want to save everyone. He wanted to save everyone? That's. Going to. What do you mean? Going to. Going to think for a long time. How can Gunta be useful for everyone? Gunta not smart enough to keep help with trials. Gunta sh strong, but no can fight excesses. Um. Gunta feel frustrated, cause Gunta no could do anything. <sighs> Gunta understand how this Gunta feels. Yeah. Technically, they are the same person. But... So, that's why Gunta think he have to do it. For everyone's sake. Gunta think he go do it. Cause everyone else no want it. Gunta... So, Gunta... Kill Mio. 
What? Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean by that? I don't get it all. Oof. Jeez, Gontez. The Gontez bad at explaining as always. I guess I'll have to help. Um. So if you remember what happened at the time. No, we sh we shouldn't. If we have what to prevent another murder from happening. Yoink! I'll take that card key then. Kichi used his life body to his advantage and took the card key from Monokuma. Huh? The card key. So you used it. Yeah. After working tirelessly, I found the door for the card key. After opening it, I saw the outside world. What? Outside world? What? That was Monokuma's motive. But why would seeing the outside world be a motive? Hmm. I'll tell you guys in a second, but that was when I found out about Mia's plan. <laughs> And it hit me. If I combined the two, then I'd be able to save everyone. Please wait. Hey, everyone. What do you mean? Hey, hey. Hey, now. You're, I mean, you gotta listen to everything I say, say first. Um. Anyways, that's when I made a deal with Monokuma if I liven up the killing game. Then he would let me use the outside world as a motive again. Huh? Again? In other words... Motive diamond. The motive key card that Kokichi nabbed was the right to view the outside world. But even though he saw the outside world, he didn't even try to use it for the killing game. That disappointed me, but then Kokichi suggested that we reuse that motive. He said we should bring back the right to the view, to right to view the outside world one more time. And I decided to run with that idea. So I loaded a flash pad light with memories of the outside world and put it in the simulation. Huh? Memories of the outside world in the flashback light? What? The secret of the world and the virtual world was about the flashback light? You know. And if it was the flashback light, it would mean the secret of the outside world is part of our gotten memories. Huh? What are you saying? Wait! But why would anything outside the world be a motive in the first place? Incomprehensible. What's going on here? Oh? Huh? You can't remember it? Okay, fine. You get it? Let's talk about the motor labor. We have to finish this case up first. Um... Monokuma hid the flashback light in the simulator, but I knew where it was hidden. And I showed it to Ganta in the virtual world. Oh, hey! shit! Hey, even knew where it was hidden? That's not fair. To tell you the truth. Well, I just placed it. I never actually hit it. Too bad. If anyone had asked, I would have gladly told you where it was. <laughs> A real late with that. Always messing around. So Gato was exposed to the flashback light. Oh, sorry, my brother messaged me. Let me make sure it's important. Kill. Kill. Oh, okay. I'll respond later. He's so Gonta was exposed to the flashback light. Yeah. Um. Yeah. When Kokichi and Gonta live together. Okay, it's just... Since we're all, all the same size as him, it'll have it be normal, Gonta. 
But Gunter can watch Kokichi, so he not do anything weird. Gunter, you're so sweet, but I knew you say that. Even without your ridiculous physical health, as long as you are selfless and courageous, you make a terrific bodyguard. Bodyguard? Bodyguard. With you by my side, I know I'll be safe from any trap. Okay then, let's go. Meow. Uh, wait, Kokichi. It's okay. Leave it to Gunter. Gunter keep eye on Kokichi. Gunter here. Gunter protect. Could it be? Gunter kill Kokichi. Was Kokichi trying to lure Gunter off by himself? Maybe. The only person I entrusted with the secret on the outside world was Gonta. Gonta! Is that Gonta? Not taken to force. Yeah, mention. Is this Gosh Black Light? It looks like it. Maybe the secret out of the outside world is hidden in it. Ooh. We got to tell everyone. Wit. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you want to believe a liar like me so easily? Huh? This might be a trap, you know. Shouldn't you check if I'm lying first? I mean, you want to protect everyone, right? This is the perfect time to do it. Protect... everyone? Hmm. Think that's Chuckle. Uh, uh, how this happen? Hey, Gunta, remember. Secret of outside world. But that just confused Gunta more about what to do. <sighs> what can Gunta do to save everyone? Gunta no could think of anything. <laughs> so I told him, if he wants to save anyone, he should put everyone out of their misery. That's... In other words, a mercy kill. What did you say? What? No way! Was... Weren't you tricked? Wrong. No. You're not tricked. Cause... When Gunta remembers secret of outside world... Gunta think... <sighs> it would be easier... To die. Remember when everyone said at the beginning that this academy is hell? <sighs> Gunta, agree. Academy that force students to be part of killing game is hell. So, everyone think they want to escape this place, right? But if it's still hell outside, what do we do? Whoa. Huh? What do you mean, Gonta? <sighs> Inside is hell. Outside is hell. What should Gunta and friends live for? How this happen? And everyone who died. What did they die for? Hell outside, and hell inside. But... And then, Kokichi, tell me. Best way to save everyone from hell is to put them out of misery, while they still not know. And only one could do such dirty work. 
Descuenta. Yeah. Mm, that's right. The, the only way you can save everyone is to free them from this elf. Gonta took on the dirty work for us. If he had survived the class trial, he would have lived in this hell alone. You get it? Gonta took on that role for us. Shouldn't we appreciate him more? Hold on! But wait a minute, I still don't get what's happening. Um... What outside world are you talking about? It's hell out there. What do you mean? What did Kokichi and Gonta see? What did we forget? Hey! Ooh. Hurry up and tell us, or else we won't be able to understand. Right? Gonta, what pushed you to, to do such a thing? Please! Answer, Gunta. Sorry. Sorry, Gunta. No can tell you. Why? Can't tell us why. <sighs> because if Gunta tell you, then everyone will end up like Gunta. Huh? Everyone. Despair. Huh? Despair! I know it. A despair that makes you want to die. A despair that makes you want to put everyone out of their misery. Did you think the kind Gonda would tell you s about such despair from his own mouth? But... But now we don't know any more than when we started. <sighs> Now you know how Gonda and I formed the Killing Game Busters, right? Then can't you accept everything about this case? Can you... Can You can imagine the rest, right? I use Mio's plan and turn it against her. I had Gonta away from sight where Mio and I were supposed to meet. Hey, huh? Kaido's not here. Alex. Alex. Yeah, you're right. Oh man, I'm out of you asked me to meet. Did you knew? Is this a booty call? Oh my gosh. Or are you here to kill me? So you figured it out, but there's nothing you can do. You can't resist me. I made sure of it when I programmed your settings. Yeah, guess I'm in trouble now. I'm sorry, but you should just give up. This is my only chance. I have no choice but to do this. My inventions will change the world. They'll make it a better place. Sorry, my Discord. Okay. So it's my duty as a genius inventor. So I can't afford to die here. Sorry, good to... so sorry. I'll be sorry, Gata. She was trying to kill me too. She said it was for the world or whatever, but that was just a poor excuse. We're doing this to stop the vicious cycle of misery, so you don't need to apologize.
Mat. Mat. Say you don't need to apologize. You had to do this for everyone's sake. It, it can't be. It can't be. Kunta would would never. By the way, you should know that it was Gunther's idea to slide the body to the chapel wall. Huh? What? Gunther's idea? Gunther. Before Gunther went to the roof, he happened to see Neo walk through the wall. Gunther had tell Kokichi and think of everything else. But... Gunther gave me that chance, I like to think we make a pretty good team. Stop it! Good? What's good about that? You're the worst. Um. Oh, story. That's everything that happened. Well. So in the end, you don't plan to tell us the secret of the outside world. Sorry. Hunter, no can tell you that. Always messing around. Well, I mean, hearing that story, it sounds like you were tripped by Kokichi. How can this be? But Kuta did kill Mew. Kuta nearly did it. Sorry. Sorry. Everyone, good to s so sorry. Let good to plan to save everyone for him. Gunter, not save anyone. Gunter, just make everyone suffer more. Gunter. Idiot! Good stupid. So stupid. How can Gunter call himself gentleman? <laughs> Everyone, please forgive him. Gunter tried to save us all from despair by taking on the sins of killing us. But. You reached for the truth and Gonda's plan failed. All you could have all of you could have been saved if you died without knowing anything. Huh? So you're saying it was wrong to fight for the truth? Yeah. Yeah, it was. At least Gonda and I think so. You should all died into it. I don't think he even killed Mew for that sake, you know? Don't screw around! You never that, Poopy. You made him kill her. Please stop! No, Gunther is bad. Gunther kills someone. Gunther is murderer. It's true. <sighs> yes. Gunther make everyone suffer. That is true. Sorry, everyone. Sorry. Gunther is sorry he failed. Everyone. Gunther is sorry for being stupid. Gunther is sorry he make everyone suffer. Gunther. So sorry. Kid, you don't need to apologize anymore. You're probably all thinking that I should have taken on the dirty work and not Gunther, right? 
everyone hates me, so the role of villain is perfect for me. I know that! Yeah, I already know that. It should have been my responsibility. But when I realized Mew was targeting me, I thought to myself, she must have already had a way to prevent me from fighting back in the virtual world. I suppose. In fact, you all right. She set it up so she could paralyze you with just a touch. So am I. That's why I had to ask Gonta. I would have done it myself if I could. That's enough! Okay, but you didn't need to push everything on Gonta too. Please stop! It's okay. <sighs> Everyone, please. Don't blame Kokichi anymore. Please. Can't I you? <laughs> oh, nice. Can you be Kanta? You really are stupid sometimes. You're, you're, you're right. Someone as stupid as Gunta could never be a gentleman. Hey, hey! Hey, so are we done yet? Huh? What? And another thing. You guys are starting to talk in circles, so let's just move on with exciting stuff. Yes, the anticipated punishment time so am i wait if you're gonna punish him then punish me too huh Kukichi? i know that i'm prepared for it if you're gonna execute ganta then i <sighs> okay okichi please let gunta sacrifice himself for everyone's sake that's all Gunta can do anymore. But just promise Gunta that everyone forgive each other and be friends. Okay? <laughs> All right, I promise. Okay. All right, it's time to punish the ultimate and demolish Gunta Gokuha. Oh man, I bet his punishment is gonna have a lot of gross, nasty bugs. <laughs> ah! Oh, that's right, you don't like nasty stuff. Eek. No, it's not that. It's coming! Yeah? Wait, already? Eek. The contractions are speeding up any minute! Honey! Click, hold my hand. I feel like I'm gonna be traumatized in a different way. Ben, Agreed. I prepared a very special punishment. For him. Yeah. Gonta! Wait, please, I don't want this. Don't go, Gonta. No. Don't cry, Kokichi. Gonta is okay. <sighs> yeah. Gonta, not cry. Gonta's. Really not scared. But how can this be? Good to upset. Good to upset. He could not protect everyone. Not that you. You can't cry either. It's punishment time. Well then, let's get everything we got. It's punishment time. Sorry, everyone. Gunta, love you all. Gonta, idiot! Gunta, no sign for being stupid.
Um, oh! <laughs> Surprise! What a twist, huh? Thrilling. Even I didn't see that coming. All oh, my little cubs have been destroyed. Dang it! Wah, so sad. All that cuts and being gone to waste. Our cutesing Why? cuteness. Are you talking about? You're the one responsible for this! Why would... Why why would you do such a thing to your own children? Unbelievable. Because lately they've been acting up, buddy buddy, and neglecting me. <laughs> yeah. I'm never gonna get the hang of this whole parenting thing. But how? It's... Why? Got a minute? Doesn't matter now. We don't have the time to give him attention. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna walk away quietly and go more in my dead kids later. Finally, they're gone. Why did it turn out like this? Got a minute? Hey, Kokichi, why don't you tell us now? What is the secret of the outside world? If we don't know it, then we won't be able to understand or accept it. What was that? I can't accept it either, Kokichi. What is the secret of the outside world? What kind of secret would push Gonta that far? You? Okay, Chi, if you really care for Gonta, explain yourself to everyone and... I... don't... want to. Huh? You what? I don't want to, stupid head! Kokichi! <laughs> oh man, did you fall for all that fake crying? You're so dumb! I would never cry for Gonta! What? Because? If I said the actual truth back there, Gonta would have been real mad. That would have interfered with the game, so I simply lied to calm him down. As long as you lie for a good purpose, right? What? What? Hey! What do you mean, what really happened? Why did you make him do that? Well, you know. Obviously, so it wouldn't be boring. Huh? Duh. Why are you. Which means. I gave Gonda an incentive, because I thought it would have livened things up, livened up the game. Come on, think about it. If I actually wanted to save everyone like what Gonta did, you really don't get it. I wouldn't have I wouldn't have go betrayed Gonta. You should have realized that. Hey! Then why did Gonta <laughs> <laughs> Who cares about that idiot? I want to enjoy this game filled with suspicion and betrayal from the bottom of my heart! Kokichi gave us one of his creepy smiles. When I saw it, I finally saw Kokichi for what he really is. Malice. 
eight malice even. His entire body, nothing but raw and unfettered malice. I am the supreme leader of evil, so it's obvious my personality would be twisted. The more you suffer, the more I enjoy it. There are people in this world who spread grief and misery for no reason than the thrill of it. And I'm one of those people. Nothing pleases me more than inflicting pain on others. You? There's a who the hell do you think you are? Then? So, for your own entertainment, you sacrificed Mio and Gonta? You're so dumb. I feel bad about that. You kill people for money, right, Makiro? You bastard! Someone like you has no right to call me Makiro. Do you wanna die? Meme. You can't do the line justice. Put it there. Come Just... on. Okay. No. Alright. Hehehe. <laughs> Hehehe. <laughs> it looks so much better with a scowl on your face, Makiro. But hey, you guys are just way too trusting. If only you had suspected me more, then... <laughs> you and Gonda would have died such mealing it. Don't screw around! Meaningless death. Kaido screamed and sprinted up to Kokichi like a bullet. Sorry, where's it going? Oh! Adult... Thud resounded through our skulls. Oops, sorry. I tried to dodge you, but I punched you instead. Kaito! You! By the way, Kaito, is it just me? Or are you way slower? <laughs> maybe, just maybe, Kaito is hiding something from us too. Kaito, are you okay? Oh, oh. oh I'm dying. Oh. Kaito kept coming at him, and Maki glared at Kukichi with piercing eyes. Got a minute? For someone who claims to be bad at fighting, you were pretty agile just now. Ha <laughs> <laughs> you believe a lie like that? You bastard. You really want to die, don't you? Let's have more fun! Oh, did I finally provoke you enough? Is it because of Kaito? Maki! No, Maki! <laughs> what am I thinking? Maki wouldn't lose her cool for a guy like Kaito. He's way too pathetic. He's all bark and no bite. Let's face it, the ultimate astronaut is just a trainee anyway. Kokishi never got to finish his provocation. No one cared what we had to say anymore. They all rushed to Kaito's side. Right? Kaito, are you hurt? Are you alright? Can you stand? Do you need to lean on my shoulder? Sorry. Sorry, my MP is at zero, so I can't use any recovery magic. Oh? Hey, why are you all so worried about this pathetic guy? That's wrong! Pathetic? Look at yourself, Kokichi. Hmm? Any? No. Kaido always has us by his side, see? No one, but no one wants to be around you. You're alone, Kokichi, and you always will be. Ha ha ha! You're talking about friends? Friends don't make this game more entertaining. Oh, man. He's boring. I'm no longer interested. I don't care anymore, but I will tell you this. <laughs> the one who will win this game is me. Bye! Kukichi spat out those words, then left the room. <sighs> Kaito! Kaito, no. are you I'm okay? Huh? Hey, Kaito. Hey! You don't look well. It 
didn't seem like he punched you that hard, but... What? Did you hit your head or something? I'm okay, it's fine. Okay? Don't push yourself, you should lie down and... I s said I'm fine. Kaido tried to get up, but... Yeah. Kaido doubled over. His knees gave out and he collapsed hard. What? K Kaito? Blood? Why? What's the matter, Kaito? Come on, don't freak out over this. It's nothing. My cold just got worse is all. I didn't know that coughing up blood was a cold symptom. <laughs> You're a robot and you don't know that? I'm saying it's fine. Just chill. I just coughed too much and cut my throat or something. I don't know. As he spoke, he somehow got to his feet. Yeah, that's it. I just need a drink of water. Sorry, but I'm gonna head back to my room. Kaito! Okay, I'll go with... Shut up! Don't follow me. Huh? What? I walk on my own. I don't need your help, Suishi. Kaito staggered off. Well, I'll go with him. Would be bad if he collapsed somewhere. Um. Alright, we'll leave it up to you then. Mm. Don't worry about CBG. Kaito was just stressed out, is all. Mm. Why? Why did it end up like this? I thought... I thought I could help. I wanted us all to survive. And I wanted it so damn bad. I kept fighting for it. Fighting for the truth. This is what I get. By trying to survive. Just playing the stupid game. Just like Kokichi. Damn it! It's almost time. Yeah, it's almost time. This should be enough. Is the time I'll end this killing game. Insect cage. Insects. Insect. Insect. Glaive? Glaive. Insect. <sighs> Alright, that's where we save and that's where we'll end it. Thank you guys. I'm gonna end the recording. Any last words? Anyone? My friends? Be happy. Yeah, cool case. Only a bee though. <laughs> <laughs> With the cub dead, oh my God. no one to voice anymore. I don't even have to show up. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry, Jim. <laughs> no, don't worry. It's fine. Mm. Oh, okay, I'll end it.
three. Be happy. Be happy.